Madam Chair, Honourable Representatives, we're delighted to once more contribute to the discussion on the provisions in more detail, and we look forward to the upcoming days to further discuss and exchange on these matters. We all share the aim of a trustworthy digital environment that respects human rights, but this can only be achieved if the Convention is narrow in scope. And in order to not criminalize the vital work of security researchers, journalists, or whistleblowers acting in good faith. We haven't had the opportunity to speak on the first round of criminalization, um, so I'd like to come in on this now that um, we are of the view that the Convention in scope should be um, limited to cluster one only. Um, it is crucial that the criminalization provisions be amended and that a standard of criminal intent and harm be introduced in all the provisions that in the end are gonna um, be included in the convention so as to avoid the criminalization of legitimate conduct. Um, the requirement of an intentional commission of a crime is not consistent throughout the CND as has been highlighted by many speakers um, today and uh, in the days already uh, passed. We agree that uh, clusters five and seven in this regard are to be treated um, differently as has already been discussed by the state's um, uh, representatives um, today. However, um, as regards uh, cluster one, and if it were to remain uh, in the final text of the conventional cluster two, we recommend to carefully examine the provisions in these articles in that regard and to add a requirement of criminal or fraudulent intent everywhere where it is missing at the moment. It is in our opinion not enough to include standards such as without authorization or unlawfully, which were discussed by member states delegates, at least not without further de definition. Such wording risks allowing the criminalization of acts carried out with beneficial intent such as security research. We thereby risk prosecuting behavior that did not or could not have been expected to cause harm or damage. Also, a requirement of criminal or fraudulent intent should be included in articles um, 13 and 14 and then in other articles that currently are in, in formal um, negotiations. Um, it will be discussed at a later stage again. Madam Chair, as closing remark, please allow me to once more highlight the open letter signed by 79 NGOs from more, for more than 45 countries that raise alarm about the human rights implications of the current draft of the treaty under negotiation. We hope to continue the discussion on these issues and remain available for further input on individual provisions during the negotiations. Thank you, Madam Chair.